10 years ago in 2007 as part of an overall clean air strategy. Port of Tacoma, Port of Seattle, Port of Metro Vancouver in Canada agreed that they would move to a cleaner generation of truck engine 2007 or newer in January of 2018. So what we're talking about is diesel particulate, which is a known carcinogen and is very harmful to public health. The standard was put in place to ensure that we had cleaner trucks operating at both ports and moving through neighborhoods near those ports. Just to give you an example, the trucks that are 2007 and newer are much cleaner than the older diesel trucks. During the course of a year, we expect that if the ports miss the deadline, they will emit 65 tons more of diesel particulate matter by operating the older trucks over the course of that additional year. Port of Tacoma has not put that technology in place to enforce the deadlines. Uh, in my view, we have not gotten a very satisfactory answer as to why they're not ready with the technology. Uh, well, the problem is, is they're forcing us to buy a new truck and us to pay for it. And uh, the new trucks are very expensive. And because of the complicated emission systems, uh, they break down and cost a lot of money to repair. Although we did offer assistance to hundreds of drivers to move to newer trucks, and in addition, a number of drivers and fleets decided to move to newer trucks on their own, knowing that the standard was coming. That's an additional problem. Additional problem with missing the deadline is that we had people who took action, believing the deadline would be enforced. They made the investment, they did the right thing, and now they're not benefiting from making that choice. because less than 50% of the trucks are in compliance and they know uh, there's no way all of us are gonna buy a new truck. So what would happen is freight would stop. That all the freight wouldn't even get off the docks. 